Sandra here from Create in Spain and I'm really happy to announce version 4.015 from Surecuts a lot. Now the reason I am really pleased to announce this is that I saw in their information that they have introduced a new effect and it's one that most people I know who use software to design have been wanting this for a very very long time. So what is it? It is object to path and they have now introduced it. So I have just a normal oval selected there and I'm just going to go to the library and pick a shape to go round my oval. I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to put it on there. Okay, select both the items, go to the effects and underneath line fill is object on path and it opens up a dialog box. You can start with an offset. No idea what that particular thing does, but oh, fair enough. It's starting an offset over there. I'm going to remove that, don't want it. Okay, cancel. Okay, let's go back again. Effects and object on path. All right. Now you can either choose to do a count, so you could have four, five, six, ten, twenty, whatever. So I'm going to put eleven in there, and I'm not going to put spacing in. The alignment, I'm not going to fuss around with that. Follow path orientation. Uh, I want to stretch to path length, see what that does. And then press the preview button. Just going to move this out of the way. Uh, just press the preview. And here we go. It stretches the number that I've put in to fit exactly around the path that I've chosen. That is worth its weight in gold. That just makes life so much easier. Okay, if we cancel that one, let's go again and see if we can do something different again object on path. Now instead of a count I'm going to go to fill path length and that one I'm going to do, I wonder actually if I need to put spacing in if I fill path length. I don't know if I do or not. I've not tried this before. Let's see what happens. Okay, pre oh there we go. Don't put anything in and it automatically fills the path length. This is getting better and better. Oh I'm going to have great fun playing with this. You can choose also to remove the original object, to remove the path, to do a weld, and you have the auto preview which you can check or uncheck, it's your choice. I think this is a brilliant feature. The other things which apparently they have altered in this one is something to do with the eraser and something to do with the stencil bridge. I don't know what they've done, I've asked them to clarify it and when I find out I'll let you know. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.